Destiny helps people believe there's an order to this whole shit. There isn't. What the hell am I doing here? In this miserable place? I'm risking my life. For what exactly? They are driven to pursue it. So driven, they do it entirely for their own sake. It's their dream. This isn't the time for thinking. I should focus on wielding my sword. Now I'll kill them. Nothing more. You all know not to underestimate an enemy. But neither should you let rivalry cause you to underestimate an ally. They are stone, and we are iron. Both have strengths, both have weaknesses. We are here so that you may learn of both. I see there is still much to teach you. We will fight, and we will bleed, and yet I smile. We shall face men, some cornered into their roles by circumstance, some desperate murderers thrilled by blood. We shall end them all, as is our charge this day, as is our sorrow. Yet I smile! Give me 100 men, it will take a week. 200? I can take it in a day. And because you know that in time I would kill you. As I've killed your friends and your brothers. It's a basic truth of the human condition. That everybody lies. The only variable is about what. The great thing about telling someone they're dying is that it tends to focus their priorities. Find out what matters to them willing to die for they're willing to lie for I take this burden of this evil upon myself and I will not fear it for I am fear incarnate when riches simply adorn or fuel ambition we see envy discord and the temptation to sacrifice all righteousness to achieve them I am only grieved and ashamed that such a demon has come from our tribe. Even if every one of us dies, it will be a battle the humans will never forget. The hand of justice shall not be stayed. Your company continues to further the ends of justice. You are merciful and weak. Steal your heart before the disease spreads. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Our races united by a history long forgotten, and a future we shall face together. And I send this message so that our pasts will always be remembered. For in those memories, we live on. In any war, there are calms between storms. You fought bravely. There will be days when we lose faith. Days when our allies turn against us. But the day will never come that we forsake this planet and its people. But whenever you look to the stars, think of one of them as my soul. I was raised to chain and whip and beat and sell innocent people. He taught me how to torture. But I buried that part of me, that man, deep down in a hole. But now I must do something I swore I would never do. Remember when I first came to you? How destructive I was. Because I was afraid. Afraid to trust you.
I have never subscribed to the theory that political power flows from the battle of a gun. Your report describes how rational these people are millennia ago. They abandoned their belief in the supernatural. Now you are asking me to sabotage that achievement, to send them back into the dark ages of superstition and ignorance and fear? No! So what's this for? Scare tactics. Hmm. Yeah, I've heard of those. Me? I prefer actual physical violence. Yeah. Yeah. Look at me. Hey, look at me. A name. So, we have a man who starves himself to death, a man who lets his own brother murder him, and a man who thinks that winning and ruling are the same thing. What do they all lack? Wisdom. Yes. Wisdom is what makes a good king. Yes. But what is wisdom, hmm? A house with great wealth and fertile lands asks you for your protection against another house with a strong navy that could one day oppose you. How do you know which choice is wise and which isn't? You, any experience of treasuries and granaries or shipyards and soldiers? No. No, of course not. A wise king knows what he knows and what he doesn't. Thorax would not have made such an error. Strange, is it not, that so many I wish beside me stand against me, while at my back are only the flawed and damaged. I am a master of broken monsters. Through pain, we're rewriting the song. Every life, every death, Every cry of pain across these burning worlds thins the veil between reality and the first realm. Call it Hades or Hell, Jehenum, Naraka or the Underworld. Call it the Warp. Call it whatever you will. But I am bringing it forth onto the material plane. Kalth was the genesis of the storm, Magnus. I will make an entire subsector suffer enough that the curtain falls and the 500 worlds drown in the warp. Tell me you feel it. Tell me you can hear the million, million demons shrieking and baying, desperate to be born upon these burning worlds. Let me tell you something that my father told me. Look at the stars. The great kings of the past looked down on us from those stars. Really? Yes. So whenever you feel alone, just remember that those kings will always be there to guide you. And so will I. I never left you. I never will. Remember who you are. Yeah, I guess it is. So listen, I don't have a lot of ordnance left, but I can still do some damage and get them off your back for a couple of minutes while you slip through. Are you talking about... Yeah, Carter. I am. I'm not just gonna give up and turn on you or burn out. To hell with that. I'm a soldier. Now you will receive us! Would you not ask for your poor? Or you're hungry. We do not want your tired and sick. It is your corrupt weak clan. It is your evil that will be sought by us. With every breath, we shall hunt them down. Each day, we will spill their blood till it rains down from the skies. Do not kill. Do not rape. Do not steal. These are principles which every man of every faith can embrace. These are not polite suggestions. These are codes of behavior. And those of you that ignore them will pay the dearest cost. There are varying degrees of evil. We are you lesser farms of filth, not to push the bounds and cross over into true corruption, into our domain. But if you do, one day you will look behind you and you will see we three. And on that day, you will rip it. 
and we will send you to whatever god you wish.